What is up Slackers? My name is Spencer. Welcome to Slack Tide. Today we're going to be doing a tips video on bait presentation. So we're going to be using lures and live bait today. We're going to be rigging them up the proper way, presenting them to the specific species that you're trying to target. That way you get the best result with the amount of effort that you're putting in. So cue the intro. Let's get to catching some bait. As you can see, have a few baits there. Have one big cichlid, three bluegill, all different sizes. So it should be a good comparison to see how you should rig different size baits and different kind of baits. When it comes to live bait presentation, half the battle is the size of your hook. When you're using live bait, you wanna make sure you have a hook that's not too big, that's gonna tire out the bait or kill it too soon. So for today, I'm using relatively small bait, whether that's bluegill or cichlids. So I'm going with a one-aught demon mustad circle hook here very small because I don't want to kill these baits especially when presentation for these peacock bass is key you want to give them a very lively bait and so the faster it dies the less it's in that lively stage therefore that fish isn't going to want to bite so the longer I can keep it running around as fast as possible the better chance I have of catching that fish you got to be mindful of the tendencies that live bait has whether it's a live bait that's going to die quickly you know it's not a very hardy bait you know like a pilchard or a bluegill for instance you know they don't last too long on a hook you also have to think about what do they normally do when they're hooked or when they're free like when you catch bluegill are they normally up at the surface or they're normally kind of on the bottom just hanging around even if it's shallow water so for this instance bluegill is going to be my primary bait and they typically like to stay low on the sand bottom there even if it's in shallow water so their general instinct when they're hooked is to dive down deep which for my case is great because I'm going to be fishing in a canal that's relatively deep. So it works out. Now if you're fishing with a shiner, you might have to hook it a little bit differently in order to get it to do what you want to do. So for instance, this canal is very deep, the peacock bass are sitting very deep, therefore I want to rig this bluegill to where it forces it or it makes it think that it's better to go down rather than up. So a lot of people will hook a bluegill through the back, around the spine area, um, just in front of that or maybe through the, uh, the nose or the lips which can be a good presentation however I think if you want this bait to dive down low the best spot to do is hook it right behind the anal fin so it's gonna be right there on the bottom of the fish towards the tail kind of forces that fish to swim down and it also forces that fish to swim away from you you don't want that fish coming back to you, you want it to get as far away from you as possible and the goal is to get it deep as possible because that's where those peacock bass are gonna be hiding so a really small bluegill here probably two inches maybe very small now the place I want to put this hook is going to be right here just behind this is what we call an anal fin down here and that's going to force that fish to swim down deep so putting it right through there it's not going to be the best spot in order to keep a hook in there so you don't want to be casting this bait too far there's a good chance you're going to cast it off now if you have to make a cast that's very far I definitely don't suggest hooking it where I just did putting it nice and low right there it's going to make that fish dive down and get away from predators as it thinks, whereas that's exactly where you want it to go. Now, if I were to rig this some where I want it to stay near the surface, a good spot would be right here, right in front of the dorsal fin there. Just poke it right through. It'll probably sit up just like this. You gotta think, once this bait gets tired, if you have it hooked like that, how is it gonna fall down to the, per, to the predators, the, this, the peacock bass in this case? It's gonna fall upside down, which isn't a good presentation. That's why it helps going through the bottom here because even when this fish gets tired, the hook is gonna hold it down, but it's gonna fall at least on not upside down. It'll still be a decent presentation where if that peacock bass comes to look at it, there's a good chance that it'll scare the bluegill back to life and make it wanna get eaten, basically. So as you can tell, I've switched to the chest mount. I have my bait here, rod in hand. Let's put these theories to the test. Get this fish to dive deep. I'm worried this hook is a little too small for the size of the bait. We'll see. Maybe he will uh, be the candy. We'll find out.
fish. Just a solid peacock bass right there. Messed up lip, so you can see. Wow, I've never seen one like that. Let's go put him back. Some fish. Technique worked. That makes me very happy. That cichlid, once he dove down into the pipe, Peacock came up out of nowhere, crushed him. And I was a little worried that bait would be too big, but I think because it was a different type of bait, cichlid, those peacocks just really hate him. Now today's conditions might be specific to me. They might be a little bit different for you, but if you have moving water, you have the right bait, live bait that is, you want to hook them, make them go down in these deep waters, it's shallower. It's not really going to matter. You can hook them through the nose, hook them through the back, whatever you find easiest to make that bait last long. Because that's the key is to make that bait as hardy as possible for as long as possible. So that is my tip on bait presentation. Tune in next time. Who knows what we're talking about? We might be on the computer. We might be out fishing. But if you like the video you saw today, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. The channel's new as it is, so hopefully that's most of you keep up with our content, hit that bell, that way you know the next time we post. Look forward to seeing you again.